Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're taking a look at one of the number one questions I get asked almost every single day. When is Last Epoch getting multiplayer? And the good old developers from 11th Hour Games have officially given us the December update for multiplayer. And today we're going to check this out. We're going to read it together and break down just where it's at. Now, before we do that, I want to start by saying Happy New Year. I hope you all had a fantastic night and have a fantastic day. I'm hoping that day one, 2022, is the day that I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. Obviously, only if I deserve it, I would really appreciate it. All right. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go right now. Multiplayer progress update. Right now we are on the official Last Epoch website under dev blog. And we're going to skip all this intro stuff. We've already covered it. I only want to cover what is new. Party, friends, and gameplay. We're making continued progress, polishing core gameplay, and making sure the player experience feels great. There are a lot of decisions our team has made for the player's experience for a single player game that, that manifest themselves in very tiny ways, like how small details of the UI works or how group quests and party UIs will function. Ooh, and look at this, our UX director Ross, who designed the new website, PS, we're hiring, will be a large part of the multiplayer update next month to talk more about how we'll realize player experiences through the UI. Okay, making great progress on party, friends, gameplay. Obviously, that's pretty much the most important thing. So that's good. Characters. We've completed. Ooh, I like it when a paragraph starts with, we've completed. The initial stages of migrating our character save systems to more robust service mentioned last month. This comes this coming month, we'll be digging into the fine details, such as ensuring our crafting and stash systems are reliable as possible. We will resolve things such as breaking down how often our save characters are and world states how to protect the integrity of characters, how to prevent items from disappearing or being duplicated. Yes, stop the hackers. Okay, characters fairly complete. Now it's the details. Deployment. Since our current de deployment environment is fairly efficient and we've had other priorities, we didn't place a huge emphasis on work here this month. We spent a bit of time targeting the specific improvements we need and we're set to do some technical planning for this in January. January deployment. Good. So check this out, right? So right off the bat, people always ask, when is it going to come? Is it ever coming? We're not even going to get multiplayer in 2022. I don't think so. I think we get it mid 2022. Fingers crossed. Party friends gameplay. They continue to make progress and it feels good. Characters. They've completed the initial stages of migrating. Deployment. Currently, it's fairly efficient. All of that sounds really good. Users slash game access. Last month, we mentioned we were migrating our account systems and we have it functional internally now. We aren't quite ready to roll it out to the public. Next month is focused on integrating the system with our website and making sure we have the ability to observe important details that will allow us to fix account problems quickly when we see them. Unfortunately, a number of players have run into login issues recently with our old system. That's currently live, and you can see why we're eager to finish our work here to make sure nobody's experience, no one experienced these issues again, and we create a better fixes faster. All right, so it's functional. Users and game access. This is what's important. Functional internally now. Progress. So far, all great progress. Check this out. Chat. We've made massive progress here. We are happy with our new system or new chat system and will almost certainly be the one we release in 1.0. Chat. Done-ish. Login game server matchmaking. Listen to this. Listen to this. We mentioned last month that we have successfully implemented our matchmaker and even better news is that we've tested its scalability up to 1 million concurrent users making matchmaking requests. A new challenge ahead of us is to build out more automated scale testing to try and ensure we're going to see those numbers in the game client itself. This tech will help us with every release we do and something the other big action RPGs give a lot of attention to. 
1 million concurrent users making match making request. That is what they've tested as far as scalability. To go back, log in, game server, matchmaking, chat, user game access, deployment, characters, party, friends, and gameplay, all making great strides, pushing forward. And it seems like a lot of these systems are more into the fine details. Goals for January. Okay, so that's kind of the update. Now we're going to talk about what they want to do this month, this new year. Our main goal for Jan January are very broad. We can summarize some of our thoughts here. Planning for community testing. Focus on all the elements we need from every part of both the game and the platform we are building to ensure that we can best make use of the community testing feedback for multiplayer. This means a large focus on our ability to observe the health of the online game, as well as our ability to quickly fix any problems we find. This also implies a lot of other things, fixing bugs, having 24 hour support where possible, planning for how to suddenly increase our multiplayer base by a large amount and more. Exactly. So this is interesting. They're smart, right? Planning for how to suddenly increase our multiplayer player base by a large amount and more. We know that as soon as we get multiplayer, you're talking the game should 5x in size. Some people think it'll 10x in size. Who knows? But you have to be ready for that. Growing the multiplayer team. We've grown our team to build Last Epoch multiplayer as one of and as one might guess, it's important to plan how to do that so we don't slow down our ability to create work on the game. OK, so continue to grow the Last Epoch team. Becoming production ready. This is very tied to planning for community testing, but it's worth breaking out on its own. As I've mentioned in previous posts, a lot goes into making sure we're a game company that can provide a great game service as well as great game for years to come. We're making sure we continue to put a lot of attention and love into building the departments we don't already have that will help make this happen. OK, so again, expanding the team. Having everything ready for the community, they don't it's almost like they're building it out where they don't want to be an indie studio. They want you to log in and be like, dude, is this a triple A game? Which, I mean, I don't, we don't want it to be a AAA game, but you know what I mean? You, you, you want it to feel professional, feel ready, not miss a beat. Monolith crafting ready. Ooh, some of our final core systems to fully implement are our monolith and crafting systems. Our crafting system is heavily reliant on a lot of complex database work and character saving. So there will be a lot of debugging to perform here. The monolith of fate is relatively straightforward to implement at its baseline, but there will be a lot of multiplayer considerations we need to address before we release it to the community testers. Multiplayer considerations. So this is if you're in a multiplayer game and one person clicks on this web of the monolith and this person clicks on this web of the monolith, what happens? Is it the leader goes into one and you all go in with them? Is it a Hey, the leader is going into this one. Click yes if you want to join. Like, what does that system look like from an actual UI perspective? On top of that, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of balancing. And I'm sure we will do that when we start making like, you know, paladin builds where we're unkillable and stuff like that in a party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Final thoughts. While we've had while we're hard at work on getting multiplayer ready ready next month, we'll change up this blog post a bit to allow our UX director Ross to speak more to some of the ways we're going to be improving Last Epoch to welcome a fully multiplayer experience. Happy holidays and New Year's to everybody. It's been an exciting year for Last Epoch and 11th Hour Games, and 2022 will be our biggest year yet. Like always, I'll be around to answer questions below. Thank you so much for reading and see you next month. They know it. It is coming this year. Mark my words. We are getting multiplayer in 2022. And I'm telling you, I think it's going to be more mid. People are saying maybe end like literally a year from now. No, I think we're going to get it sooner than then. And it's pretty cool. I remember reading these posts because I've been covering this game now for years. And you're talking about I normally see hundreds of views on just these little news reads. And now you're talking 5,500 views. I know that's still small, but for just a dev blog on an indie game, it continues to grow. So that's where we're at. And I have to tell you that this communication, January 1st, 2022, makes me feel very optimistic. 
everything that they have said is it's going in the right direction. We're implementing it. It's already there. We're in the final testing. We're getting ready to release to the community. There was nothing in this entire post that talked about setbacks. There's nothing in this entire post that said we're trying to figure it out. Nothing in this post saying we have to reach out to other. No, everything is moving forward. And that's what's important. All right, everyone. That's the video. Multiplayer progress update December 2021. What are your thoughts? Are we ever going to get this game? Are you waiting for multiplayer? Can you not wait to play with friends? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you've heard by now that I've officially started a Twitch. I stream on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday, having so much fun with the ARPG community. My 22 different build guides, a lot of them we create together over Twitch. Always doing giveaways. I've given away, I think, just in the last couple of weeks, 10 different copies of Last Epoch. First link in the description if you'd like to go there and support. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're now over 1,300 members. Great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description, and also all of those build guide links are also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.